one thing I really like um, thinking about is the reality in a piece of music. So um, a lot of electronica and particularly sort of digital audio workstation based music can become so sterile because there's no noise floor, there's no background noise, there's no hiss, tape hiss and things like that. So although everything is pristine, it's not really akin to real real life in the world. And what got me thinking about that is a, is a, is a quote I read by John Cage. Um, and he, he had an experience in um, an anechoic chamber, which is a completely acoustically treated room uh, at Harvard University. And what happened, he said he went into this chamber expecting to hear, to experience silence for the first time. But what he actually discovered was that in the space he could hear two frequencies and one of them was a very high pitch frequency and one was a low pitch frequency and the, the low pitch frequency was the sound of blood running around his body and the high pitch frequency was the sound of his nervous system so even in the most silent place in the world you know there is always background noise and i just really like that and i think you, if you apply that to music you're kind of creating a much more realistic sound world so the way i kind of um like to get around that is by collecting some noise layers and what I've got here is um, I've just collected some quite random sounds for a kind of a, a bit like tape hiss really kind of or, or crackle so I've got here um, the sound of a cat eating its cat biscuits which sounds like this I've also got the sound of an air conditioner my dishwasher which I just recorded with a handheld recorder uh, I also recorded my gas hob to find my gas escaping I did switch it off after this record. and finally I just found a random sample of some geese just to, just to add a little background ambience to it and what I did to remove the kind of um, all of the bottom end just leave a kind of a, a crackle I put some really uh, strong high pass filtering on them so we've got filtered versions of each of those the cat eating now sounds like that so it's just the top end crackle of it the air con has become a, a really crisp sort of top end the dishwasher has just retained the kind of artifacts of the, the crackle and the, the popping noises as opposed to the rumble. And the gas hob, is, again, is, is now really sort of silvery, hissy, as opposed to, so there's no low end in it. So what I did is I created those, I created, I, I blended them all to create kind of a noise bed, mixed them down and then added, turned that into a, um, an EXS24 instrument. So I've effectively got, what I've got now is an instrument that plays that as a noise layer, like a pad. And as you move around the pitch, obviously the different crackles and background noises will pitch shift with that as well. So it's just a collage really of noise. And what you can do is with a really sterile sound, like I've got a pad sound here, synth sound. This is what it sounds like with nothing else on it. So it's quite a glassy, sort of um, clear sounding thing. What I've done is I've added that in the EXS24, I've added the noise layer to that, and what you then get is a kind of... any sound source you know it could be that you've got a really nice echo effect that you like or a, a riser or a, a textural section of your piece and that can just be something you just drop over the top of it or, or even blend in with your synths layer it up in a sampler and what it does is it just creates a slightly more lifelike recording and I think something that is closer to real life 
so you can relate to it on a, on a human level. So I hope those top 10 dub tips have been useful. I've really had a lot of fun doing it and I hope it creates a bit of inspiration and helps you in your productions, whether you're a newcomer or, or you're an experienced producer. I hope it helps and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. Yeah.